on the Learning Channel. The seven wonders of the world. How many of them can you name? Join TLC for a colossal world premiere series as we follow John Romer on a journey to find vanished masterpieces and rediscover their images today. Feel the spirit that still drives us to create and achieve. The Seven Wonders of the World, a four-hour TLC special event, tonight beginning at 7 Eastern on The Learning Channel, where the past comes alive. Fast babies, slow babies, small babies, tall babies, smart babies, silly babies, sweet babies, shy babies, baby, 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 oh, baby, baby. Now understand them all and understand yourself a little better on a remarkable new series that captivates the imagination, A Baby's World, Wednesday nights at 9.30 on The Learning Channel. Why would someone stop taking life-saving medication when vanity kills coming up in HealthCast at 6? The city is not a concrete jungle. It's a human zoo. Too many people, too many thrills. How do you cope? Join the gang. A tribe with a happening dress code. Serious rituals. Its own special ways of handling stress. You'll never walk alone. It's remarkable that people aren't more aggressive than they are. Good thing, too. Join Desmond Morris to decode the perils and pleasures of urban life. This is our territory. Watch The Human Animal, Sunday at 10 on The Learning Channel. Our ancestors had a tradition of caring for others in tribal communities. Responsibilities were shared that bound the tribe together. This is the spirit in all of us. Today, the people of Dow are joining Habitat for Humanity in communities like the Cheyenne River Sioux Reservation, sharing their skills, donating Dow home insulation, working alongside people they've never met, building new homes and new hope. Go tell the Spartans that here we lie, obedient to their laws. Monday on the Learning Channel. They defended themselves with their swords and with their fists and teeth. Savage warriors, brutal rulers. They never retreated. They knew no trade but war. The most powerful state, the most deadly army. The Spartans on a world premiere episode of Ancient Warriors, Monday night at 8.30 on The Learning Channel. A father. A son. Discovering together that the hardest part of standing your ground is knowing when to walk away. I hope you know them the kids who just beat me up. I know who they are, son. Well, then why did you just give them Mom and Lydia's cotton candy? Because it looked like they hadn't been given nothing in a long time. Elijah Wood, Kevin Costner, The War, rated PG-13. Starts Friday, November 4th at theaters everywhere. Huckleberry Finn is one of the greatest books ever written. It's also one of the most troubling. Two people bound together by the flow of a river and their escape into the undercurrent of society. A riotous journey that raises unsettling questions about growing up and morality, freedom and pain, and the vision of the man who put it all together. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn on a world premiere presentation of great books. Saturday night at 10 on The Learning Channel. On the bloodiest day in American history, over 20,000 Civil War soldiers died at Antietam. Over a century later, an unknown member of the Irish Brigade is found buried near Bloody Lane. Be there as scientists try to reveal this fallen man's identity. Witness the remarkable reconstruction of the last moments of a soldier's life in the nightmare of Antietam. On a world premiere episode of Archaeology, Monday night at 8 on The Learning Channel.
beautiful models who think they are overweight. There's just this little part right here, right below the belly button. It's just the hardest part to work on. But it's not just models, it's children now. 10 and 11 year olds obsessed with dieting. I don't think I was overweight. I just wanted to lose about 10 pounds, maybe. From children over dieting to a life-threatening eating disorder, anorexia nervosa, it can dangerously distort a person's body image. Does she strike you as underweight? No. Mm, not really. It's just right. The emotional subject of eating and self-esteem, part of the reason we're only human. Her name was Lisa. She was six years old. It was a blow to the head that killed her. The man and woman she called her parents have been charged with murder. Her neighbors are grieving. She never had a chance. Never had a chance to experience what the world had to offer. Lisa lived on this quiet street in New York's Greenwich Village. This was her apartment building. It's a small building, only seven other families. It was Lisa's home for six years. She lived here, in this apartment on the third floor. There's only one other apartment on this floor, and the neighbor who lives here, Vicki Poland, says she knew there was trouble in that apartment. There was uh, apparent violence. Um, we heard it. The tenants heard it. Joel Steinberg practiced criminal law from the apartment. His specialty was drug cases. He's 46. Hedda Nussbaum is 45. She worked at a publishing house editing children's books. She also wrote books for children. Slapping, hitting, screaming, yelling, brawls all hours of the night. Um, I have seen Hedda beat up so she looks like me. I have seen him take her from being a beautiful woman from 13 years ago when I moved in to being an old, gray-haired, disfigured, rail of a woman and that's what she looks like now we called the police and they came and then they left and then it would happen again you know there was a pattern the neighbors say that between them they must have called the police more than a dozen times over the years police records for this year show only one call an anonymous one that came in on october 6th less than a month before lisa died that night, two policemen entered the apartment house and took the stairs to the third floor. Police say Joel Steinberg said, I'm a lawyer, I know my rights, and refused to let them in. But they persisted. They called for a sergeant. The sergeant insisted he be allowed into the apartment, and Steinberg backed down. The police went inside and talked to head of Nussbaum. But she refused to press charges. There's been a sense of a time bomb in this building. We've been waiting for it to go off. No one expected it to go off with the little girl. We thought Hedda would, get, would be killed. And we were afraid for her. The police had come in response to a complaint about spouse abuse. Several years ago, social workers came here in response to a complaint about possible child abuse. Neighbors had called because they feared the screams meant that Lisa might be in danger as well as Hedda. This welfare uh, person did come and interviewed me and interviewed, I think, some other people in the building. And that was that. We're, we feel terrible. We feel angry. Maybe we didn't do enough, but at least we did something. But it never led anywhere. Lisa was seen in school with bruises. These photographs were taken in her first grade classroom two weeks before she died. New York state law requires teachers to report suspected cases of child abuse, but no report was made about Lisa.